Hello, welcome to Luna Midnight Designs. It's spooky season again, time for the pre-Halloween video. So the theme for these dolls is Nightmare Before Christmas, Sally and Jack the Pumpkin King. For Sally, I will be using a Ghoulia doll and for Jack, I will be using a Skeleta. I tried once to make a Sally doll, but ended up not finishing. So let's try again. So let's begin. Time for body modifications and blushing. For Jack, I take the head and remove the nose and mouth with a knife, and then sand down the rest. I want to make Jack smile, so I take two part epoxy and I cover the mouth area. I then add his upper lip and lower lip. I then add some small indent lines on his lips. I don't know why they're there, but they're there in the movie. I then color match the head to the body to cover up the epoxy. I then add black blushing to his body, even though most of it will be covered up by his clothes. Once Jack is done, I move on to Sally. I blush her body first with some blues, I then take a white color pencil to map out where I want her stitches to go. Once I'm happy with the placement, I add her stitches with white and then go over them with some black. Sally is the only one getting hair, so I'll be using this red ginger and red allure hair from the doll planet. In the photo references I have for Sally, her hair color is always different. It's either really red or like a muted red slash brown, so I'm going for a mix. I plug all the holes, add glue, and boil wash her hair, and her hair is done. I love how it turned out and how the colors look together. <laughs> Jack's face up is pretty straightforward. I mean, he doesn't have a face. So it's mostly black blushing on his eyes, nose, and mouth. I also add some around his head to bring out the original sculpt of Skeleta's head. Make Jack a bit more realistic than the movie. I then go in with some paint to really bring out the pigment and to make everything darker. I go with his mouth, eyes, and nose. I also add paint to the mouth lines. And with that, Jack's skull head face is done. Time for Sally. I start with the lines for her face stitches. I then add the outlines of her lips in red and the outlines of her eyes with white. I then fill in her eyes. I go over stitches with black. I add black to trace out the outline of her eyes. I then fill in her lips with red. But then blush her eyes with blues, grays, and blacks, just adding more pigment with each layer. I add whites to her stitches. I then give her some eyelashes and a dot for her pupil. And Sally's face up is complete. Now for Jack's suit. I had to create my own pattern based off of Rad Doll Clothes basic business pattern for the suit blazer. I then just had to figure out what other pieces from the pattern I will be needing. Now for the not so fun part. I couldn't find a fabric that matches the suit from the movie with like the very thin lines, so I had to create my own. I had to hand paint all the lines with white acrylic paint, and it took a very long time. A very, 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 very long, 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 long time. A very, 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 
very long, 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 long time. A very, 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 very long, 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 long time. A very, 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 very long, 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 long time. But once I was done, I cut out all the pieces and put Jack's suit together. First, I sew the front and back pieces of the blazer together at the shoulder. Second, I add the sleeves to the blazer. Third, I sew the back of the blazer together. Now, the collar and the lining pieces was very hard to figure out. It took me a while. So the collar goes on top of the blazer, good side of the blazer to the back side of the collar. Yeah, the bad side of the collar. Then the lining goes on top of the collar, but good side to good side. Lastly, I close the blazer along the side and sleeve seams. I then roughly cut out the three tails from the back of the blazer. The pants are pretty straightforward, front and back pieces together at the front seam, then the side seams, inner seam, and hem the waist, and closure at the back, and done. He now has pants! For the dress shirt, I made it cropped with no sleeves and with Jack's little bow tie. And I add some closures and buttons here and there, and Jack is dressed. Now for Sally. I again had to make my own fabric by taking white cotton and using watercolors to dye the fabric to the right colors. Yellow, pink, blue, cream, and green. For the pattern of the dress, I will be using delightful sundress pattern as the base. I then make my own pattern for the different colored pieces of Sally's dress. I map out where they go using my reference photo and the shape that they will have. I roughly draw it out. Not exact, but it's good. I also cut the pattern out of black, just as like a lining or like a building block for the pieces to be sewn onto. I then trace the pieces onto the colored fabric. Well, the pieces that are meant to be on that color, according to my pattern map. I also then fray check all the pieces. I had to make sure I was cutting the right pieces from the right fabric. It was definitely organized chaos. Once all the pieces were cut out, I take a soft color of the fabric and color pencil and I draw on the black pattern to the pieces. I then later go over it with black color pencils. And of course, this is when I found out that I drew one of the pattern pieces on the wrong side of the fabric. Yay! Without realizing it. So to make sure it didn't happen again, I took all the other pieces, put them where they were supposed to go over top the pattern, just to make sure everything was the right way it was supposed to go. And I had to re-draw the other fabric piece, so that was fun. The black color pencil was okay, but I wanted the black to be really clean and more pigmented, so I go over all the pieces with black paint. I then also add some shading just around the edges and around the black details just to like make it pop and more realistic. I sew the bodice color pieces to the black pieces, then I sew the bodice pieces together to make the bodice. That wasn't confusing at all. <laughs> I also make the stitching messy and noticeable just like her original dress. I then sew the puffy sleeves and add some little black lace ruffle. Mm -hmm. 
I then attach the color skirt pieces to the black skirt piece. For this step, I use, I use my sewing machine just to make it a little easier on myself. I then attach the skirt to the bodice and then add a black ruffle on the skirt and I sew up the back, add a closure, and Sally's dress is done. And here are the final dolls, Sally and Jack, the Pumpkin King. These two dolls are actually commissions, so by the time this video comes out, they will already be in their new home, far, far away. The owner of these dolls was very happy and loves them, which makes me very happy. These two turned out so much better than I thought. I love the vibrant colors of Sally's dress, and Sally's dress was definitely the hardest to construct, but painting Jack's suit took the longest. But either way, it was worth it. I also have here my Corpse Bride doll next to these guys because it's all Tim Burton themed, really. Thank you all for joining me today and creating this doll was a lot of fun. Follow me on Instagram to see more and to be more a part of my process and subscribe to catch future videos. Thank you all for the love and support. Have a creative day. See you soon. Bye!